Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and country on the pop. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are starting with CBSE sample paper class 10 French 2021-22 term 2 paper. Okay, and this is the part 1 video and um, we will be doing comprehension passage today. Hmm. So, I have uploaded videos on term 1 sample paper. I have also solved the question paper of term 1. Right. Now, I am uploading on sample paper of term 2. And then, in future, when term 2 paper will take place, I will be uploading the solution of it. Right. So, all four things I will be adding in one single playlist so that everything is there at a single place. Right. Also, uh, important to say that this question paper belongs to CBSE. It's just that I am here to discuss the solution, right? So, this time in sample paper, uh, for term 2 sample paper, it's of 40 marks, we know it very well, uh, the theme of the sample paper's comprehension is what? Chess. So, Les Tres Jeunes Lois d'Echec is the heading of the paragraph, the comprehension, the very young kings of chess, grand maître à 12 ans. So, the grand master, in at the age of 12. Now, Grand Metro is Grand Master. Also, don't worry, I will be adding these questions in the description box as well once I upload it. So, from there, you can have a look at the vocab uh, used in the comprehension passage. Also, I'm discussing the meaning A to Z here in this video. Okay. So, c'est le plus grand titre pour un joueur d'échec. Grand Maître International. It is the biggest uh, title for a player of chess, the Grand Master, the International Grand Master. Okay. Pour l'obtenir, il faut réussir à un certain nombre de matchs. So, for obtaining it, it is a must to succeed in a certain number of matches. Abhimanyu Mishra, a jeune American d'origine indienne, Indian, a décroché ce titre à seulement 12 ans. Hmm. So, Abhimanyu Mishra, a young American, origin of Indian origin, uh, got this title at the young age of 12. Il est la plus jeune grande, grande maître de l'histoire des échecs. So, he is the youngest, like to be noted, the youngest grand master in the history of chess. That is amazing. That was the first paragraph of this comprehension. Passionné depuis tout petit. So he was uh, passionate, passionate, he had the passion since his young age. So Abhimanyu a découvert les échecs à deux ans et demi, et à cinq ans. So Abhimanyu discovered the game of chess uh, from the ages of two and a half to five years, il battait déjà son père qui lui a enseigné le jeu. Okay, so his father was there to teach him the game. Okay, à sept ans, at the age of seven, il est devenu champion national des états unis dans sa catégorie d'âge. So, at the age of seven, he became the national champion of the United States in his category, in his age category. Okay, category d'âge, the age category. Alors, tout le jeune joueur suit ses traces de play. Okay, so there's another young player who follows his path very closely. Let's read the next para about the next player. The refugee a champion, from a refugee to a champion. Tani Adevami, extremely sorry if I'm pronouncing the name wrong. So Tani Adevami, Rev de Devenir, lui aussi. La plus jeune grand maître de tout le temps. So Tani Adevami also them to become one like uh, Abhimanyu, right? He also uh, was the youngest uh, grandmaster of all time. 
ce garçon de 11 ans a changé la vie de sa famille. So this boy of 11 years of age changed the life of his family. En 2017, in 2017, ses parents, son frère et lui, se sont réfugiés aux États-Unis à cause des violences dans leur pays, le Nigeria. So, uh, in the year 2017, his parents, his brother and him, uh, they all came as refugees to the United States of America because of what? Because of the violence in their country, Nigeria. Tani, découvert les échecs dans un centre pour réfugiés. So Tani discovered this game of chess where in, a, in the center for refugees. Progressant très vite, having very fast progress, il a commencé à gagner des tournois. So, with a very fast progress, uh, he started to uh, win tournaments. Uh, grâce à Tani, sa famille a pu quitter la refuge et s'installer dans, un, dans une maison. So, thanks to Tani, uh, his family was able to quit the refugees place, like the place where the refugees live, right? From there, uh, they were able to live in a house. On the whole, the l'école, the girls are consacrated to so long as a passion, so okay. Uh, when he was in school, he was uh, spending all of his time in his passion. Il s'entraîne plusieurs heures par jour, so he played the game uh, for a lot of hours every day. Par des citations pour Tani, les échecs sont tout pour moi, c'est ma vie. So, without hesitation for Tani, the chess is all his life, like, it's written more like as a, uh, I think it's Dalek's statement, right? It's Dalek's speech. So Tani says that the chess uh, is all for me and this is my life. Interesting. I also like to play chess, but like these guys, oh, they must be amazing players. I played it just like um, by the boss like few years back. Now, we have read the passage. Now coming to how to solve a comprehension passage of subjective type, some tips which I would like to give. Tip number one, like uh, many teachers go for this, I also sometimes prefer this, okay? Like first you should read the questions, okay? If you read the questions, you know that what uh, the uh, question uh, wants to you, you to answer okay you know like uh, where you need to search for your answer suppose you have uh, read the first question regardez l'image que comprenez vous par le mot débutant okay now you know right this is the first question now you will see in the passage then in the very first uh, above the very first paragraph you will see the picture and there you will see the word débutant then you can write it right so many teachers also advise this that you should read the questions first so that you know that what all answers you need to search from the passage right so that saves somewhat uh, quite a lot of time and that was tip number one if you want to do like first you read the entire passage and then the questions that's also completely all right okay it's all it all depends on what met which method is comfortable for you okay tip number two uh, the a method of acing the comprehension is one only understanding the passage okay you should understand the passage thoroughly uh, that was another tip like if you find some uh, words complicated like uh, say there are three four words which you don't understand no problem it's just that you should get the gist of the uh, comprehension properly you should know the theme you should know the meanings uh, like even if some sentences uh, with some complex words are not clear no worries like what you can do you can read the questions okay you read the questions then you will have some idea that what sort of keywords you can get in the passage right 
and then you can search for those keywords and then you can get the answer. That can also be done. Another method of solving comprehension right. Another tip which I would like to give, subjective paper. Term 2 is going to be a subjective paper, right? So questions are also subjective. Now, you are asked a question and you are not expected to write one or two words only. Like just the answer. No, that's not. It's a one marker. You need to write the full statement. Okay, you need to write the full statement. You need to paraphrase the question and then you need to answer it. Right. You have written incomplete, like, if you just write that, the answer, it seems a bit incomplete. Right. You should write the full sentence because it's a subjective paper. So I hope these many tips are sufficient to solve comprehension uh, as some of these steps I have also used in my exams, be it French, be it Hindi, be it English. Right. So I guess we can proceed with the questions. So, uh, question number A. Regarding image, que comprenez-vous par le mot débutant? So look at the image. What do you understand by the word débutant? Now débutant means debuting, right? Now you are not going to define debuting here. Why? Why you won't do that? Because regarding image, it's mentioned here. Look at the image. You need to see like what's there in the image and what's the context, right? In that context, you need to define the word debutant. So I'm writing the answer here, okay. Answers I will be writing here. Questions will be there in the description box. So, ce sont ce qui commence à jouer aux échecs. Échec is chess. Okay. Uh, et on d'expérience. Also, these answers are from the uh, marking scheme only because uh, those are like very exact and they kind of present like the way you need to write. Okay, in the answer scheme, like in for few, only the words are written, right? But please, please, please write full sentences. It's a subjective paper. Don't write simply the words. No, you should write the full statement. So, what's debutant? It, uh, these are the ones uh, who start to play the game of chess uh, at the very young. Oh. Wait. I hope I haven't missed anything. Ah. Ce sont ceux qui commencent à jouer au échec et ont très peu d'expérience. So these are the ones who have started to play chess. Like I was thinking to add this phrase, that of less age. Right, but no, that's not. It on très peu d'expérience. So if you start playing chess and you have very little experience, the term for you in French will be what? Débutant. Okay. Uh, B part, we have qui est le plus jeune grand maître dans l'histoire des échecs. Who is the biggest grand master in the history of chess? What's the name? Abhimanyu Mishra, right? So, Abhimanyu Mishra A then the full statement, like you need to paraphrase the question, right? Il a plus grand, and so on. Oh, sorry. Uh, without E. Plus grand maître uh, dans l'histoire des échecs. Des échecs, you need to write. I'm not writing the full thing because of the time constraint and the space constraint. Okay, you need to write the full thing in your paper. Quelle est la nationalité de ce jeune de grand maître? So what's the nationality of this young grandmaster? So now you know, question number two is on Abhimanyu Mishra, right? So question number C, if we, it's saying like, what's his? So he will be what? Abhimanyu Mishra, right? Now when there are two characters, you need to take care, right? Uh, the question is asking for which character, okay? So with that, you can judge with the previous question. 
Now, like uh, question number four is on Tani, right? So the ahead questions, the questions ahead are based on Tani, like that. So, kya lena nasu malite? Nalastio nalite. The surgeon grand maître est américain. Okay, we have option D, question number D now. Can you pay the origin of Tani? Now questions on Tani, like what's the country of origin of Tani? Uh, so now you need to write the Nigeria A la pay d'origine de Tani. Okay. Okay, now I think I should talk about this uh, keyword thing, like how you can get the answers to keywords. Now see. Uh, like nationality. Can I learn nationality? The surgeon grand maître. Now nationality. It's very clear. It will be some nationality, right? Second question is of a woman named Michelle. Now search in the passage. In the passage, it's uh, mentioned, we are hmm, a jeune American, right? A jeune American. So American is what nationality. So you will write it here. That's how you search an answer from uh, the passage, right? Now this question could have been twisted as well. That what's the uh, origin of uh, Vimal Yamisha? The like then you would say that. He is Indian, right? So such question can also be framed, so you need to be careful. You need to read question properly and the passage also properly. The part we have done. E. Quand est-ce que la famille de Tani est venue en Amérique? So, when uh, did the family of Tani came to America? They came in 2017, right? It's in the passage only, so on demi disset la famille de Tani e venu on on Amerique. So again, dot 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 because of the time constraint and the space constraint, you need to write the full thing. Okay, you need to practice the question here. Où Tani a-t-il découvert le jeu des échecs? So, where did Tani discover the game of chess? Tani, you can use a pronoun as well, the way it's given in the marking scheme, la découvert, or you can simply say uh, Tani découvert le jeu de déchet. That's also completely all right. Okay, it's, it depends on you whether you use the pronoun or not. Also, if you are using a pronoun, Make sure that the pronoun you are using is correct. Okay. Like le je des échecs. For the whole thing, we need to do the pronoun thing, right? Le je, masculine singular, direct object. So le, but here it's a, a vowel, so l apostrophe. Tani la découvert dans un. Now I need to rub it off. Dans un centre pour réfugier. Ok, fine, in a centre for refugees. And the last one, comment est-ce que Tani a pu changer sa vie et celle de sa famille? So, how did Tani change his life and that of his family? How? So, il a gagné, he won des tournois. Some tournaments, oh, I was writing in English. Tournois, right. A tapu achete, and then he was able to buy une maison, a house, 
por sal fome. Simple. Now that completes your section A. In your exam, there will be seven questions and out of seven, you need to attempt five because it's a five marker question. Each part carrying one mark. Okay. So, and also I hope that the tips which I gave would be helpful. Also, like I gave two, three options, right? Two, three approaches to solve a uh, comprehension. Now, it's not like on the day of exam, you're experimenting that this approach will work, this approach will work. No, don't do that, okay? Practice beforehand. Pra and practice in a way that can help you in judging which way of attempting you are most suitable with. Okay? So let's put a halt here. Stay tuned for today. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and Fitch on the blog. And if you have any doubt or suggestion, you may write that in the comment section below. The next video is going to be uh, part two of this sample paper, of the uh, literature section, section B, Culture de Civilisation. Okay. So thanks for watching. Au revoir. Nous voulons parler en français. L'amour.